Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and we are in Brookhaven, I think it's called, but anyway, Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, here at Lucky's Burgers and Brew, do their Grim Reaper Challenge, that is right, so it is a massive burger, absolutely massive. Yes, this thing is like over eight pounds, consisting of a plus four pound beef patty, then have a whole bunch of buns, uh, like big, big, big buns, you have onion rings, you have seven fried eggs, you have a whack of bacon, a whack of cheese, all that good stuff, so you have one hour to complete the challenge, if you do, you get the burger for free, and a $200 gift card, so that's pretty dang cool. There's been over 800 attempts, over 800 attempts, and I believe only five winners so hopefully we can join that winning list today so it should be really good i love burgers this is gonna be a big one let's go on in have some fun i think that's about it so yeah let's just eat some food thank you by enjoy drive let's go all right everyone so here we are with the grim reaper it's absolutely massive so no shortage of burgers no shortage of buns and eggs and all that good stuff so we're gonna have one hour we're gonna start here just momentarily let's get her done we got one hour once i dig into this so Let's get started. Let's we'll save the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at Lucky's in what is basically Atlanta, Georgia, Brookhaven. It's the Atlanta, Georgia area. I think it's just like a, you know, little area of Atlanta, but nonetheless, Atlanta, Georgia, guys to do the Grim Reaper challenge. So like I said, this is a crazy burger. Over 800 attempts, and we're talking only five winners. So I was really hoping to join that winning list of the few, very, very, very few elite. Yes, we're talking less than a 1% success rate. So really hoping to join that list. Um, and But I mean, by conquering the Grim Reaper. Egg tastes good, let's try this burger. I let it sit for a while, so. Hopefully it's not too hot. So as I mentioned, the Grim Reaper is an eight pound burger. So you literally have a four pound beef patty, you then have seven eggs, a whole bunch of cheese, bacon, onion rings, you know, the huge buns, the list goes on. Um, so, I mean, it's a mo it's a massive burger. So most people are not gonna have the capacity to do it. You do have the one hour time limit, which I mean, I think is fair um, for the challenge, but I mean, the biggest thing is that most individuals are not gonna be able to eat this. It does carry a pretty sweet prize. Not only do you get the burger for free, but you do get a $200 gift card. So if you live in the area, I mean, it's very, well, beneficial. I mean, you don't only get a free meal, massive, massive, massive free meal, but in tune, you get $200, which would give you definitely a few meals there. Um, they, I did. I had a look at the rest of the menu. It looked pretty solid. It's kind of like, you know, pubs and burgers and I mean, hey, they'd have lots of beer. I guess you get lots of beer for 200 bucks. But anyway, um, to the burger itself, so I uh, asked for a cooked uh, medium rare. Um, at first, they, they actually first brought it out and it was still cold on the inside. So I was like, can you just please heat this up a little bit more? And they did, which was great. To which it is like it was now, which was absolutely perfect. Two minutes in, very delicious. A very medium rare burger, but no complaints. The outer edges of the burger were probably more like a medium, but the inside was definitely medium rare. Uh, the and I, and I have to say, I mean, it's it's a difficult item to cook. It's a very thick burger patty. You essentially, you know, have to um, probably start it on a grill or a flat top, and I, I assume they'd probably finish it off in the oven uh, just to avoid excessive browning, charring, etc. On the outside of the patty itself, um, I got the the eggs were like cooked standard. I just called them like a. I mean, the yolks weren't uh, soft. It was just a normal cooked egg. I don't know how you'd put that, a well done yolk. Um, but again, you do have seven of them, so you better like eggs. Uh, the bacon was really good. No complaints about the bacon. And uh, I was definitely querying how these buns were gonna be. Um, I mean, you could go two methods about it. I figured you could either dunk them or not dunk them. And depending on the texture, well, I mean, I think it could be either a really easy ride or a rough ride. The bottom bun likely was a lot softer due to the burger juice, especially with my burger being um, not well done or less cooked. Um, it would have more juices to kind of emit into the patty, but that top bun, it's pretty thick. She's a thick boy, if you know what I'm saying. So that, uh, you know, that could definitely propose us some difficulty there. I believe there was a previous record uh, actually held by Mr. Brandon, the garbage disposal. Um, I believe it was somewhere around 12 minutes. 
Um, but hey, I mean, this was a challenge that I was actually going to dive into a bit, you know, test out the old man, see how the old man still operates, you know, if I can still eat uh, at a reasonable pace. Um, but with that, everybody, I'm going to leave it for now. I'm probably going to hop on in a little bit later, but hopefully we can get that win um, and let's get to it. Four minutes. About four and a half minutes in. Just buns, onion rings. So who's the Grim Reaper now? I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's tasty. What can I say? Oh, the bread is hollow. Pretty soft. So as we kind of expected, that top bun definitely posed a little bit of a challenge. Um, overall though, the bread was pretty solid. I have no real complaints. Um, and the bottom bun was uh, quite easy. It was quite moist from all the burger juices. Um, if you were to dunk this bun, it would be substantially easier and it definitely would be quicker. Um, I mostly decided, you know, at least for now, to kind of refrain from doing it. Um, for no real purpose, I guess, no real reason. Just kind of wasn't really feeling it at the time, but like I said, if, hypothetically, it would have definitely increased the speed a little bit if one was to dunk um, that bread, especially that top, top, top bun. I do want to extend some appreciation to the staff here. The staff were quite accommodating. Um, it was eh, it was kind of busy, I guess. Um, we did have to call in advance. We did arrange, um, call the individual, uh, call them uh, at least a day in advance, uh, a couple days probably, but I think it's only 24 hours notice is needed to actually secure the challenge. And at the time they may get you to put down a credit card as well. But that, that's pretty much, I think all the information generally I have to share with you guys. Again, overall, it was a pretty tasty burger. Um, it is definitely, I would say on the better scale of those big burgers, it is very hard to do a big burger well. Um, just with such a thick patty, you know, to have evenness and cooking, etc., etc. But I would say this was on the better of the big burgers. Um, the flavors were really nice. I am glad um, that they were able to cook it the way they did. And really, I have no complaints. So with that, everybody, let's get to the rest of the video. Let's uh, see if we get the win. It's a big if. Um, but that, let's get to it. And uh, ultimately, let's see what happens.
It's about nine minutes, four seconds roughly. Very good challenge, very much enjoyed it. I think that is a new record overall. So that's pretty cool. Very good burger, no complaints. So that would get me up free. That's a good $200 gift card, it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so that everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I definitely got some air in me, I'm trying to burp, but excuse me, I'll get it out. So that everybody, two nights I'm saying happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Don't do what I do, but get yourself some good food. Lucky's a really cool spot. So thank you, Atlanta, George. It's my last challenge of doing on here. Much love. Really appreciate everybody. We have exceptional friends here, exceptional people all week. I can't say enough. So that everybody, have a lovely life. And I have to give an extra, 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 extra special thank you from the bottom of my heart to Mr. J, Ms. Shelby, uh, Southern Hospitality, they have shown us this weekend and week has just been outstanding. Much love to both these people, great people. Atlanta, Georgia treat us very well. Also, Miss Britt. Britt has also been out to, I don't know how many of our events, so many of them. Just thank you so much, much appreciated. So that everybody, huge thank you to everybody down here. Much appreciated that. Until next time everybody, just have a lovely life. And seriously, thank you so much everybody. Your guys' support is unsound. Amazing, I just, I, we're so thankful, we're so humbled and much appreciated. And here we are visiting the historic area of the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Site here in Atlanta, Georgia, commemorating Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Here is the International Civil Rights Walk of Fame, which they have, you know, kind of like the stars in Hollywood, they have footprints of different people which are involved in the Civil Rights Act all the way up that side and all the way up this side as well. Pretty cool. Here we have a statue of Gandhi. Gandhi actually apparently lived to be about 80 years old. That's pretty impressive for, for back, in day, yeah. back in the day, yeah. Interesting that we have Gandhi. Nonviolence. To be a potent force must begin with the mind. Nonviolence of the mere body without the cooperation of the mind is nonviolence to the weak and cowardly and has therefore no potency. It is a degrading performance if we bear malice and hatred in our bosoms and pretend not to retaliate, it must recoil upon us and lead to our destruction. So this is this would be like traditionally the entrance. Um, however, unfortunately, the building is closed, and I guess that would be in relation to the plague. But regardless, I'm sure this is a very educational and cool thing to see, which you would find out about guide of the birth home, tour permanent temporary exhibits, watch a film of the civil rights movement, collect your national parks passport stamp. So birth home, that's pretty interesting. I wonder if he's met like he, yeah, I don't know, interesting. Birth home, uh, birth home block, um, historic fire station, Mr. and Mrs. King's uh, tomb, uh, Ebenezer Baptist Church, I'm assuming that's where he was a uh, pastor. Or a pre, uh, and then yeah, the visitor center, which we're at right now. And out front, the visitor center, we have a rose garden, some beautiful roses, which smell like roses and are beautiful. And then we have kind of, I guess, like poems or excerpts of speech, a dream, peace, a letter to my voice. I am possible. The good deed everyone should do. He walked to peace and the best of me and they keep going on and on and on. So I'm gonna do some reading and really look at these flowers. I hope you guys can kind of conceptualize and see these whole bunch of different roses of very different colors. We have the mixed colors. Actually, this one might not be a, uh, yeah, I guess that's a, well, no, I don't think that one's a rose, or if it is, it's different, but more traditional roses, 
in red and purple and pink and yellow. Pretty cool. And that's what it's called right there. The I Have a Dream, Dr. Martin Luther King, World Peace Rose Garden. And the symbolic meaning of the garden, um, the stardust design represents the brilliance of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. Pink roses in the center represent Mrs. Coretta Scott King's oneness with uh, her, with Dr. King. The rose in the border on the right and left side of the center are a tribute to the special bond um, and the peace movement, similar to that of Gandhi and Dr. King. And uh, the band of red roses is the garden honors African Americans and their contribute to the rich society of the United States of the world. And the various clusters of multicolored roses symbolize the diverse cultures and nations, faiths, and religions uh, in the world if for the universal appeal, Dr. Luther King's uh, messages. So that's pretty cool. Pretty dang cool. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty amazing. Beautiful memorial to a very important piece of history. And here we have a statue of a gentleman holding an infant. Um, it's called Behold, the Baptism of the Infant Kizzy and her father Kunte Kinte. And it is dedicated to the memory of Dr. Martin Luther King. <laughs> now this is powerful. Here we have, I believe this is, well, I mean, obviously Martin Luther King and the uh, Coretta, I guess that's his wife, I believe. So I, I don't know if this is actually their grave site, but this would be, you know, kind of the memorial or the tomb, I guess, like the stone. I don't, I don't you know, however you want to conceptualize that. But this is really cool. We will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like water and righteousness, like a mighty stream. And sure enough, it's a great big fountain, which the water rolls down into the big pool. So that's that's pretty cool, that's pretty powerful. Uh, lots of pictures, signations of Dr. Martin Luther King and other prominent individuals in the civil rights movement. And then over here, we have what is the dream lives, the legacy continues. Here we have a uh, forever going um, kind of fire and or stone as a tribute to Martin Luther King. And if you listen, I'll come over a little bit more. They actually have Dr. Martin Luther King speaking out of a speaker. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, out of a speaker and then uh, again, a very beautiful looking flame in his memory. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right, click my face, subscribe guys. It helps me out, it helps you out, then you don't miss an upload, and hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically picked two videos, yes, that's right, two videos specifically for you right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's gonna end, so click one quick. Let's go, let's go, and have a great day.